Welcome to the session. I am Dr. Suchitra, Associate Professor, Department of ECE, Vidyavartaka College of Engineering. We will be giving presentation on implementing the design using Spartan 3 xc 3 s 50 port. Aim is to write a Verilog code to design a clock divider circuit that generates 1 by 2, 1 by 3 and 1 by 4 clock from a given input clock. Also, port the design to FPGA and validate the functionality through oscilloscope. A frequency divider, which is also called as clock divider, is a circuit that takes input signal of frequency Fn and generates an output signal of frequency F out, given by F out is equal to F in by N. Logic to divide the frequency of the input clock by 2, 4, a binary 2-bit upcounter is used. The bit 0 of binary 2-bit upcounter will give the divide by 2 frequency clock and the bit 1 that is the MSP bit of binary 2-bit upcounter outputs the divide by 4 frequency clock. So as can be seen in the timing diagram the bit 0 of the 2-bit binary up counter gives the divide by 2 frequency clock and the bit 1 of the 2-bit binary up counter gives the divide by 4 frequency clock. To divide the frequency by 3, a mod 3 counter and delay by half clock cycle is used. This is the output of mod 3 counter. It is having 3 states 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. Then it repeats 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. So the LSP bit of this mod 3 counter is shown in the timing diagram here named as Q of 0. To begin with it is 0. During the first positive edge it has changed to 1. During the next two positive edge of the clock pulses, it is 0. Again, it becomes 1 and the waveform repeats. Temp is the delayed clock cycle of this LSB mod of mod 3 counter. That is, it is same as the LSB of mod 3 up counter, but the thing is, it is delayed by half clock cycle. That is, it is being activated not at the positive edge but during the negative edges of the clock pulses. So this clock signal Q of 0 represents the LSB bit of mod 3 up counter and this clock signal named as temp represents the delay by half clock cycle of the same LSB bit of mod 3 up counter. Now out of 1 is the OR operation of these two clock signals that is Q of 0 and temp. So this clock signal out of 1 is the OR operation of these two clock signals. If we observe the time period of out of 1, it includes 3 clock pulses within a single time period. Therefore this represents a divide by 3 clock signal. So this is the Verilog code for the clock divider. It starts with the keyword module. The name of the module is clock divider having the port list clock and out. Clock is the input. There are three output. One corresponding to divide by two. Another one divide by three. And the last one for divide by four clock. Both the mod 3 counter and the binary up counter are initialized with zeros. The register temp is initialized with 1 bit 0. Always at positive edge of clock, we are incrementing the binary up counter. It increments as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Again, it repeats 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Whereas for mod 3 counter, there are only 3 states. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. After 1, 0, it should become 0, 0 again. So that is what is being checked here. Once it becomes 1, 0, it has to be set as 0, 0. 
otherwise it has to continue with addition of bit 1. This portion is to generate the half cycle delay clock that is the changes of the LSB bit of mod 3 counter being done at the negate. And the OR operation of this delay clock and the original mod 3 LSB bit of mod 3 counter is given to out 1 which is the divide by 3 clock signal. The LSB bit of counter 0 is the output from divide by 2 clock and the MSB bit of binary 2 bit binary up counter is the output of divide by 4 clock. So out 0 gives divide by 2 clock, out 1 divide by 3 and out 2 divide by 4 clock. So this is the user constraint file where the pins are being assigned. The clock which is the input pin assigned to P203, the 3 output pins out 0, out 1, out 2 assigned to 168, 169 and 171. The FPGA design flow is as follows. To begin with we enter the design in Verilog, compile, check for syntax, simulate and then the next step is synthesis where the Verilog code is converted into netlist format and the resulting netlist is saved as NGC or native generic circuit file. After synthesis it is implementation. Implementation includes three process translate, map, place and root. Translate combines all the input netlist and constraints that is the user constraint what we have given to a logic design file and saved as native generic database file or NGD file. Then the map divides the whole circuit into sub blocks such that it can fit into the FPGA logic blocks. It generates native circuit description or the MCD file. Next step is the place and root. Takes the mapped native circuit description file as input and produces a completely rooted MCD file as output. The rooted MCD file is then given to the bit gen program to generate a bit stream or a dot bit file which can finally be used to configure the target FPGA device. So for programming this FPGA a special cable is required and that is the JTAG or the Joint Test Action Group port used to connect the FPGA. So the implementation of the code will be next done using Spartan 3 FPGA device XC3S50 PQ208 of Xilinx. Welcome to the demo session on implementation of clock divider circuit using Spartan 3 FPGA. This is the experimental setup. It includes Xilinx Spartan 3 FPGA board. This is the base board, daughter board with XC3S50 device IC. It is FPGA IC in PQ208 pin package with 124 IO links. This is the supply for the board. Here we have the signal generator from which we are taking the input clock signal of frequency 250 Hz. The output clock frequencies after division by 2, 3 and 4 will be observed in the oscilloscope. The four pins on the FPGA that are used for input and output, one pin for input clock connection from the signal generator, three output pins to observe the divide by two, divide by three and divide by four clocks on the oscilloscope.
The same will be described in the UCF file or the user constraint file. Now, let us start the implementation of the design of clock divider. Invoke the Xilinx ISC tool. First step is to enter the design. Open a new project. Set the path, give the name and create a new project. Check for the specifications. Enter the design description in Verilog. Check syntax. Once the design has been entered, it must be synthesized. Along with the design file, UCF file need to be added, that is the user constraint file. Next step is implementation. Implementation process includes translate, map, place and route. Finally, we configure the device. That is downloading the bit file onto FPGA. This is the input clock taken from signal generator with clock frequency of 250 Hz. Now let us check the divide by 2, divide by 3 and divide by 4 clock signals at the output pins. This is the output of divide by 2 clock. This is divide by 4 clock signal output. Finally, divide by 3 clock signal output. Thank you.